Shalom, dear friends. <laughs> and I hope you all had a beautiful, wonderful Christmas. Uh, we did, and I hope that you are ready for your new year. Um, I am here with my car running and um, doing errands uh, before I'm gonna head and pick up my mother-in-law and go to the hospital. Uh, that's a whole other story. <laughs> but in the midst of that and um, all of the things that are unplanned in our lives um, and trying to fit things in, um, I wanted to stop in and just tell you that um, I'm not going to have another video this week, uh, not even on Friday, um, but that's okay because in the Christmas video um, on Friday, I did not tell you what we were reading next. Um, so we are actually, um, I will put it on the screen or in the description, depending on how much time I have to do a quick edit, um, because I don't have that in front of me right now. Um, but we're going to talk about uh, when Jesus headed over uh, into the Gentile side of the world um, and some of the happenings there. Um, so I'll get you that reading and then we'll read that all next week. Um, and then Friday, next Friday, it's like I don't know, it'd be like the 6th or 7th or something like that, the next Friday in January. So in the first uh, Friday of the new year, um, we'll go ahead and discuss that and I'll have time to do the research and do um, do like a whole video and the whole, whole bit. So the reason why I'm headed to the hospital here a little bit, um, without going into too much detail, but right after all of our holiday festivities, we had the most wonderful time pinching ourselves that we had all the parents here and they're all healthy. Um, the very next day, later in the afternoon, um, my father-in-law fell um, outside. It wasn't even icy, it was like, I think it was like 47 degrees. It was a gorgeous day, so they thought they'd get out and about, um, and they decided to go out in the backyard, and it was beautiful, and um, and he fell. And so he broke a hip, and uh, yesterday had to have um, surgery, and it was a really long day. <laughs> um, it's actually been a couple really long days, and, and if you guys can keep my mother-in-law in prayer and my father-in-law in prayer, um, my mother-in-law is having to make a lot of really big decisions right now, and um, just that my father-in-law who has dementia um, can learn the things that they're trying to teach him about not putting pressure on the hip, and anyways, it's a whole thing, and that brings me actually to my word of the year. I had wanted this week as of yesterday um, to make a video of kind of reviewing my word of the year um, of 2022. And then I also wanted to reveal to you um, my word of the year for 2023. Um, I finally settled on my one for 2023. Um, I had it. And I was like, that's it, that's it. And then all of a sudden, for a couple weeks there, I had second thoughts and I kind of went a couple different directions, but I've come right back to the same word. And that is worship. I was trying to figure out what the next aspect of shalom is, what the next aspect of peace. And I really realized that it's our focus. And um, the reason why Daniel in the lion's den um, you know, he could uh, have faith, great faith, is because his focus wasn't on the lions, it was on his father. Um, and the reason why, you know, David um, could have his focus and have all of the Psalms written, even though he was running for his life most of his life, um, is because he had his focus on his father. Um, and so, Worship to me is that next aspect. Um, from this year, my word was trust. And that word scared me um, because I didn't know what God had in store. And obviously he had some pretty big things in store. Um, you know, we went through the move of my um, in-laws to having all four parents here that, um, you know, are aging and have, we have future worries. Um, and then to hear this last week of uh, 2022, 
um, hospital stays and surgeries and unknown futures. And going into 2023, I'm so glad that number one, 2022, I had the word trust. And by the end of it, I, I learned that God is sovereign and that he has our best interest in mind and he has a perfect timetable of everything. And I am learning to lean back in that and trust his timing and trust uh, all of the little components and the things that I try to control. Um, I'm learning to trust and put those in his hands. Um, so a <laughs> really good lesson to learn before the chaos of this year um, and and trying to keep that peace, trying to stay in that and remind myself. And really it comes down to my focus. When I lose my peace, when I start to fear, when I start to sink, just like Peter in the water is when he looked at the storm. Um, but when I focus on my father and that is through worship, even when you don't feel like worshiping, and so uh, that's why this year I'm going to really focus on worship and who the Father is. I want to make a list of all of God's names and what they mean. I want to make a list of all of Jesus' names, all the names he was called and what they mean. I want to um, make a list of his characteristics and try to find Bible verses on each of those uh, characteristics in both the Old Testament and New Testament, find evidence of that. Um, and then I want to kind of discover um, what are the different ways people around the world and just through different personalities, what are the ways people worship? Um, I worship, you know, I love music, um, but actually through reading his word, I tend to worship him even more than with music. But my husband is music. It just, uh, that's what gets him. Um, so I want to also look at other ways. Some, uh, if you're a painter, um, I know there's people who paint and they worship while they paint, um, and all of those fun things. So that's what my word is, uh, worship. Worship is my new word of the year. Um, and that also takes my focus off myself, my selfishness, my, oh, this is so annoying. These people are annoying or, you know, because when I focus on me, I lose my peace. When I focus on me, I um, automatically am like, um, this person's hurt me, that person's hurt me, and I, I lose my peace. But when I focus on the Father and worshiping Him, then I can walk through the biggest storm. I can walk on the water in the biggest storm um, I can be in a lion's den and still have faith that no matter what happens, God's got me. I could be uh, running for my life like David and just know that God still loves me, even though I'm running for my life. Um, so anyways, that's exactly um, what I'm thinking about. And I haven't had a lot of time to film that. So here I am in the car with the car running in between errands and then running over to get my mother-in-law to go um, to the hospital. If you could just say a prayer for all of us and, um, you know, for everything, for our marriage, my hubby and I, it's really hard, um, being kind of in the midst of all of this swirling around us. And, um, we need to know that we need to focus on God in the midst of the storm, it's all the storms that are happening. Um, and also hang on to each other instead of making each other the enemy. Um, so those are the things that are in my mind today. Just thought I'd pop in here and uh, tell you um, Merry Christmas again and also a happy, happy new year. Um, also, Rosie, I loved your podcast this morning. I'm going to link it here for everybody else to hear about uh, the proverb um, that uh, man makes his plans, but uh, the Lord um, directs his steps. What a great podcast and a way to say the same thing is um, we can make our plans, but God is going to direct our steps and he's going to do it for our own good. And so we need to just lean back and lean into his, um, his protection, lean into his wisdom and his, uh, his power and just know he's a good God, even though 
everything bad is happening around you. Um, he's got you. And um, anyways, I uh, hope you have a wonderful new year and a wonderful day, a wonderful week. And I will see you, um, like I said, I will in the description put what we're studying this week. I'll see you at least not this Friday, but next Friday, um, and hopefully for some other videos in between us trying to figure out um, rehabilitation places, and I don't know. I don't know what my couple weeks brings. I don't know what 2023 brings. I really am not in a place where I can make a lot of plans, um, but I know that God directs my steps, and uh, He directs yours as well, so trust Him friend. Trust him. So anyways, shalom, dear friends. We'll see you in the next video. Love ya.